Hi, I'm Greg Clancy. I actually joined the Volca Majority as a 12-year-old boy in 1975, and here it is 43 years later. And I have a lot of reflecting to do as I've gotten older, and I look back at the decades I've spent with this chorus, and the first thing I think about is uh, gratitude. It comes to my mind, I'm grateful for so many men who have helped me grow up and shape me into the man I've become. I'm grateful for the audiences that appreciated what we've done over the years. And I just think now is a time in my life, and I think maybe for everybody as the world seems to go faster and maybe we become a little more polarized, to think what we are grateful for. And I know I'm grateful for this chorus. I'm grateful for singing and having music in my life. So we'd like to share a few stories of the men of the vocal majority and what they're grateful for. Hi, I'm Gary Hinderberg, marketing director for the vocal majority and a member since 1993. There's a bit of a backstory behind this series of videos about gratitude that I wanted to share with you. You see, in this personal season of gratitude for me, I have looked back at a couple of life events that have really changed my perspective. One of which is I lost my mother in April and the second of which I lost my dad in June, within two months of each other. But in the case of my mom, I had the opportunity to tell her and express to her my thankfulness and my gratitude for her encouraging me to sing. So I did what most of us do these days in the social media world, and I posted how I had had that opportunity to share with my mom my feeling of gratitude. I was amazed with the outpouring of comments from people who talked about how their parents or their grandparents were ones that they needed to thank, that they needed to share their gratitude with. For some, it may have been a high school teacher or a choir teacher. And for others, it was being around a piano at Christmas time singing songs. And for still others, it was just simply musical instruments or hearing an old hymn that would bring a rush of gratitude back into their spirit. So in this season of gratitude, I find myself reflecting upon who I am thankful for to inspire me to sing. And for me, it's my parents. As you're going about what you do from day to day, I encourage you to pause and think, who is it that you need to express gratitude to? Who is it that introduced you to singing and somehow changed your life? Who is it that you're grateful for in your life? Hi, my name is Chase Cronus. I've been with the chorus since 2014. There are many, many people to be grateful for. I, and of course, I got my dad here with me, and we're both singing in the VM together, and there's nothing cooler than getting to sing up there next to your dad. As far as singing, the biggest things I'm grateful for is the fact that I get to show love every day. I get to move somebody every day with a gift that was given to me and to get to go out and compete or sing in a show and at the end of the day have somebody come up and say, man, that really moved me. That's a grateful moment because you get to take something that you were given and not only do it because you love it, but to show somebody else that they can be a part of this and that they loved that performance as much as you did yourself. Today, I met a couple. They were moved by this chorus on many occasions. They came to 15 Christmas shows in a row just because of how much they enjoyed and loved the music itself. Singing has changed my life for the better because it's brought me together with not only the people of the society, but with my family. I have struggled many a times, but every day that singing, just the idea that you can use your voice and it brings you together with everybody else, no matter how close or far you might be, from my sister all the way in Virginia and her friends and coworkers there in a class ring getting ready for international this year, it helps me keep close to her even when I can't be. I'm grateful for the love and the compassion that each person shows in this group. And it's heartwarming. It's a reason to get up in the morning. It's a way to go to bed, have something great to sleep over. Is just that amazing outcome that you get from just singing.